let's just get right into it. Um, let's reel out the uh, matches to look forward to this weekend, and of course, we'll pick one or two to talk about. Uh, it starts on Saturday lunchtime. Uh, well, there's no Saturday lunchtime kickoff uh, this weekend, strangely enough. It all starts at 4 p.m. Nigerian time. It's Arsenal taking over Wolverhampton Wanderers, and then Brentford will take on Luton Town, Burnley against Sheffield United. All these matches at 6 p at um, 4 p.m. Nigerian time. At 6 30, Nottingham Forest will take on Everton, and then at 9 p.m. That's the match to look forward to, at least on Saturday. It's Newcastle United taking on Manchester United. And then on Sunday at 3 p.m., Bournemouth will take on Aston Villa. Chelsea against Brighton. Liverpool against Fulham. West Ham United will battle Crystal Palace in the London Derby. All these games at 3 p.m. And then at 5.30 p.m., the pick of the weekend is Manchester City taking on Tottenham Hotspurs. Let me come to you, um, buddy. Let me come to you for that one. You're pressing towards that direction now. <laughs> no, no I, don't, I, don't, I don't like to give... Supporters of teams, their own matches to to preview. So mm. let me come to you for Man City against. Uh, is that, is that numbers, no, nah. but, but I was like, yeah, that I'm going to give you Manchester United against Newcastle. Ah, no, 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 that, that's the wrong choice. <laughs> I, I have a feeling too. Okay, but then let me come to you for Manchester United against Thank Newcastle. You. What, what what can we expect? Newcastle, of course, coming off that four new victory or four one victory over um over Chelsea, did well yeah. enough in the Champions League as well against um. PSG um, at home against Manchester United, given how United have played. Tough one for United. Yeah, very tough. And um, you know, going by the bookies, everyone suggests uh, that Newcastle should take this one. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, for Newcastle, uh, I think they have the best home record, if I'm right, this season. Uh, seven games at home, uh, six wins, one loss, and that loss came against Liverpool. When, uh, uh, I'm, not only, I'm very sure you remember that game. Yeah. Liverpool went a man down and still yep. went ahead. Uh, to win this one yep. but for united as well i think uh, the away record is even better than the home record, the home record. six yeah. games away the one four lost two but my problem with united is this teams and uh, uh, they, they struggle against teams in the top six mm. and that is what eth should be concerned about at the moment mm. both i do have a long list of injury problems but newcastle have been able you know to still keep on grinding despite yep. uh their struggles um uh, injury wise but again, I'm looking forward to a very, very interesting game. Let's not forget that in the EFL Cup, Newcastle did defeat the, the United at Ultra for 3 0. It ended. But United also have that at the back of their mind that we have to get a result at St. Jesus Park. Looking at the fact that they currently lead uh, Newcastle by just a point, mm -hmm. it's sixth versus, versus seventh. And Newcastle as well know that a win for them will just up United yep. at, at, on the table. So looking forward to a very, very interesting game. Um, United would have to worry about the trial going forward, Godon, Isaac, and, and as well, Amaron. And I would like to see whether ETH will still go ahead with his sentimental pick this time around. <laughs> he needs to understand that we're actually getting to the busy period of, uh, of Christmas, and as much as possible, every point will matter a lot. As much as, uh, as, much as a lot of people have gone for Newcastle in this one, I'm leaning towards a draw in this game. All right. Somehow, so, I just feel Newcastle will win this game. All right. That's what Bode is tipping in this one. All right. Triple let's come to you. Man City against Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur out of sorts at the moment. Really, really out of sorts at the moment. We're beating at home by Aston Villa last time out. Man City, though, have drawn their, their last two Premier League games. They are itching for a win in the Premier League. Bad time for Spurs to be playing City. Yes. A terrible time for Spurs to be playing City, especially the fact that they are, their team is currently being torn apart with injuries mm. and suspension. Although, uh, Romero should be back in defense for Tottenham Hotspur for this one. He should have served his uh, his red card offense. I uh, should have completed the uh, the punishment by now, so he should be back for that one. Also, I now leaves the question of who are the two central defenders that Tottenham Hotspur are going to use, but they still miss out a very key element to how they play, how they attack the total structure of Tottenham Hotspur, and that key element is James Madison. I've been saying this. And I'll keep saying it that Emerson is very much limited without James Madison because of the style of play that Tottenham have, you know, decided to go with this season under Ange. So um, for for Manchester City, it's quite it's quite simple. We expect the the regulars to try to do the job for them. Doku up front, try to open more spaces to find Ireland. Mm. There's Alvarez, there's Bernardo Silva. I just don't see a way. This Tottenham Hotspur will defeat Manchester City at the Etihad. I don't see a way. I don't see any way. I even think Tottenham might not score. And even should Tottenham score, if they score first, there's another problem. In the, in the past few games that Tottenham have played that they scored first, mm. they've went on to capitulate. They mm. score early and they don't know what to do with the ball. They don't seem to have the... So, and a lot, a lot of persons have questioned the manager that come. You 
this style of play is not working because the players that are the pillars of this your uh, uh, attacking high pressing style of play some of them are injured some of them are suspended Mm. the ones you have on the bench are not good enough as your regulars maybe you should try to tweak something and try to change things but he's been as strong he's been very stubborn he's been saying this is the style of play everybody has to play this way so wait and see how they are going to uh, 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 uh you know you know fair up against score up against manchester city but i just don't see a way that this Tottenham must probably get one over city this video hit the subscribe button for more leave a comment and like thank you